Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for sixth grade. This is unit six, lesson seven, revisiting percentages. The objective says I can solve percent problems by writing and solving an equation. We're looking at activity 7.3, puppies grow up revisited. Number one says puppy A weighs eight pounds, which is about 25% of its adult weight. What will the adult weight of puppy, what will be the adult weight of puppy A? Well, right now, puppy A is 8 pounds, and that's 25% of its adult weight. So we know that when puppy A is an adult, that the weight is going to be greater than 8 pounds. Um, but let's go ahead and meet our objective and write and solve an equation for this. So I'm going to pick out some words that can easily be translated into an equation. So I have 8 pounds is 25% of its adult weight. So I can create an equation if I substitute uh, some of these important words with some mathematical symbols that we know. So is is the same thing as an equal sign and of indicates that we're going to do multiplication. So 8 pounds is equal to 25%, so I can write that as a fraction or as a decimal, 25 out of 100, so I'm going to write that as 25 hundredths, 25 hundredths of its adult weight. So I can use W to represent its adult weight, so I've got 8 is equal to 25 hundredths of the adult weight of that puppy. So right now, the adult weight of that puppy is being multiplied by 25%. So if I want to uh, get rid of that 25 hundredths, I'm going to use the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. So I can divide by 25%. So I'm going to divide 8 hundredths by 25%. If you don't want to divide by a decimal number, that's fine. We could just treat this as 8 is the same thing as 25 hundredths of W. So I could divide by that fraction, which is the same thing as multiplying by the fraction's reciprocal. And I could use that instead to solve this problem. So either one is going to help me find that solution. So 100 times 8 is 800. Divide that by 25. How many 25s are in 800? Well, I know there's four 25s and 100, so there must be eight times as many 25s in 800. So I think that's going to be 32. Oops, 32. When that puppy is an adult, uh, puppy A is going to weigh about 32 pounds. That cool symbol like that means about or approximately. Let's look at number two. Puppy B weighs eight pounds, which is about 75% of its adult weight. What will be the adult weight of puppy B? Before I do this one and put it in a, an equation, I want to think to myself, who is going to weigh more, puppy A or puppy B? Right now, puppy B is eight pounds, but it's 75% of its adult weight. It's much closer to its adult weight than puppy A was. So it's not going to grow much more in its weight. So puppy B's weight is going to be a not too much more than 8 pounds. So the weight of puppy B must be less than the adult weight. Must be less than the adult weight of puppy A, even though right now they weigh exactly the same because puppy B is almost to its full weight. It's 75% compared to 25%. So just like I did before, I'm going to look for those keywords that are going to help me know how to build this equation. So 8 pounds is 75% of its adult weight. So my equation is going to look the same. It's going to be 8 is equal to 75 hundredths of the adult weight puppy, or puppy B. I could use B as my exponent not my exponent, my variable. Or I could write that as in fraction form and I would get A is equal to 75 hundredths of puppy B's adult weight. And then I would use that uh, same process to solve. One thing that I do know about 75 hundredths is that's the same thing as 3 fourths. So 8 is the same thing as 3 fourths of B. So I could solve this equation by dividing by 3 fourths, which is the same thing as multiplying by 4 thirds, because 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So I'm left with 1b. I'm going to multiply that by 4 
thirds. So 8 times 4 is 32. Divided by 3 is 1. So that's 1 with nothing left over. So 3 goes into 2 0 times. It's going to be about 10 and 2 thirds pounds when it's an adult. So approximately 10 and 2 thirds pounds, which I'm just going to go ahead and say that's about 11 pounds. If you used a calculator to solve that, that's totally fine. When you do that division, 32 divided by 3, you're going to get 10.6666666666666666. Maybe the calculator rounds to 7. Again, we need to have an understanding of what these numbers mean um, and what they represent. And so again, we could just think to ourselves, well, I know what my decimal and fraction equivalencies are, or I can just say, since they're saying about I can just go ahead and say that's about 11 pounds, and I can stop right there. All right, uh, again, our objective was I can solve percent problems by writing and solving an equation. Thanks for watching.